on, I started to notice a couple of trends in the songs I was singing, my choice of repertoire. Um, the first one being that I was tending to sing pretty predictable, pretty safe musical theatre standards. The first song I sung down there, I'm ashamed to say, was by Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> <laughs> I have been rehabilitated now, so. Um, and then the other trend I noticed was a liking for the melancholic, uh, frankly suicide inducing. <laughs> it's strange really, ask anyone who knows me and they'll tell you that I'm a pretty, you know, joyful, life and soul of the party kind of person. Sorry, no, don't ask anyone, don't ask my parents. <laughs> I've moved back in with them and therefore I've reverted to type. And that, type is southern teenager. <laughs> no, but ask anyone else and they will tell you, I'm generally a happy person, so it's strange that I choose such depressing songs. So I've set myself a challenge um, more recently to choose new repertoire, um, things a bit more upbeat, so I'll give you nine to five, um, and things that are a bit more unusual that my audience may not have heard of. So this next song is by one of my favourite singer-songwriters at the moment. His name is Duke Special. I would recommend you go and listen to some more of his stuff if you like this. And the title of the song is The Ballad of the Broken Man. I know, too. <laughs> <laughs> 